Okay, in the next few videos, we're gonna put our, um, we're gonna sort of combine what we know about the power rule and trig functions and things like that, okay? Um, the first thing um, I would probably think about right here is, um, let's, um, well, for, um, this is me finding a pen that works, okay. Okay, the best way to do this, especially when first starting out, and I don't know if you, that's a three if you can't read that. Um, the best way to do this is just to break this down and, and integrate it term by term, and we add them all together, okay? So if I do that, okay, um, well, what, what would I get? I'd get one-fifth, okay, and I need to put my dx inside. Then I'm going to subtract the integral of 2 over x to the third, but it's much easier to work with these exponents if we rewrite them as negative exponents. And, and that was the same with derivatives too. Um, I think it's easier to visualize what's actually going on in this fractional form. They're always easier to work with in their uh, exponential form. Okay, so th th this is what we'd um, we would do here. So th this this first one might be a little tricky, but if if I had x over five, if I took the derivative, that would be one fifth. Okay. And next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to just uh, use my power rule. Two x. We probably already have. I mean, we could probably just do that one in our head, but I'm just going to go ahead and write it down anyway. Okay. Okay, and that gives me plus C, of course. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and put my F, F of X in here. Big F of X, because I'm going to simplify everything. Okay, and that's going to be negative 2. Negative 3 plus 1 is a negative 2. Okay, so that just gives me another negative 2, plus 2 x squared over 2 plus c. Okay, um, right away I know that the 2's cancel out here, and then I have a negative divided by a negative, so that actually just turns into a positive, and it looks like these 2's are also going to cancel out. It looks like my general antiderivative is plus c. Okay, and you, I'm not going to differentiate it to check it, but you should always do that. And another thing you always might want to get in the habit of doing. Notice how I stuck the uh, exponent back down into the denominator. It's customary that if your original answer um, the exponents are written as fractions that you would go ahead and put um, those back into their fractional form instead of using native ex exponents and I mean I don't care either way but if you go and check your answer in the back of the book you know a lot of times they they, they will do this okay um, so and just I mean I don't know it's just well heck, I don't even, doesn't even matter because I don't care. All right, so here we go. So the next one, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm just going to do a little work on this one. So um, I'm going to do the term by term thing again. Okay, and I'm going to subtract the integral. Okay, so well, we don't really have a formula for this, do we? But if you if you if you look in your and, and plus, you know, why you're you want to do this anyway? But you know, check out your table of derivatives if you don't have these memorized already, and you will see that the derivative of secant is secant tangent. That's how I, and that's how I memorize the derivative of secant. Secant secant tangent tangent secant squared. Yeah. You know? So that's just um, that's just kind of my little way of doing it. So um, our first term of the antiderivative 
uh, the four stays the same, okay, but this is just secant x, okay, and the same thing. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna integrate um, two times secant squared, and if if I differentiate tangent, okay, I end up with secant squared. So I'm just gonna write tan x plus c, okay. Um, wow, that one was almost too easy. Let me see if um, let's see if see if I can think of another one. What if you had what if we had to find the uh, antiderivative of that guy right there? A little hint. We just use the uh, power rule all over again, right? Okay. Um, this one, we I don't really know that we can simplify it any further. Uh, so it'll pretty much stay where it is. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what, let me... Um, let me think up of some more complicated ones for part four, okay? But um, I hope you get the drift as far as, you know, how, how some of these ones work, okay?